All right. So a super common question I see often on hiking social media pages and in forums, comments on Instagram around sort of hiking in New Hampshire is how to sort of forecast mountain weather and sort of some of the tools that are out there. Um, my one waiver is uh, this is sort of just what I've found success with by no means an expert in forecasting weather in the whites and in New Hampshire. Um, again, this is just sort of the tools that I use and what I've found to kind of be successful with um, kind of when planning my hikes. So kind of the scenario um, this weekend, looking at doing Smarts Mountain just sort of to get out and you sort of do a winter shakedown. Um, the weather doesn't look like it should be spectacular. I'm kind of getting an idea, trying to get an idea, I should say, of sort of the snowfall that's going to occur Friday into Saturday. And uh, so we'll kind of run down some of the tools that I use. So the first one is weather.gov, the National Weather Service website. Um, they have point forecasts for most of the peaks in the whites, um, New York, sort of the New England 67 that I've found. Um, usually you can just sort of type in a search here. Usually it'll kind of pop up, so Smarts Mountain right there in Lyme. Um, got the normal daily forecast. Um, a lot of different weather apps kind of look to weather.gov to sort of base what they forecast off of. Um, it's probably one of the most trusted around. It's updated really frequently. It'll tell you sort of where the weather station is that it's sort of coming from. It'll show your area, sort of your detailed daily forecast um, a week out. Let's see. Uh, snow pretty much Friday and Saturday looks like kind of lowing down into Saturday so probably my favorite tool out of here that you can use is the hourly weather forecast um, that you look at this like obsessively usually when I'm planning a hike I've um, got a bunch of different stuff in here including ceiling height and visibility which is kind of good if you're kind of planning on a hike that you want to have good views on you can look at ceiling height you um, can kind of see your temp wind gusts, surface winds, um, sky cover is kind of a really cool thing, uh, humidity, precipitation potential. Um, but I'm going to really be looking for Friday into Saturday sort of snow and how much we're supposed to get. So I'm going to come in here and bring this to 12 a.m. on Friday, kind of see what's up as far as the snowfall that's supposed to be forecasted. Hoping to use snowshoes if I do go. If not, that's fine too. So right here, you can come down and kind of get an idea of the actual amount of snowfall that we're going to see Friday into Saturday. Um, again, I find this really super helpful um, if you're trying to sort of figure out the best weather window to be on a, on a peak kind of during the day. Um, kind of to look to when you think the weather's going to go sideways and you want to be off a summit and you don't want to be exposed. Really handy for all that type of stuff. I um, find it really invaluable sometimes to look at this to get an idea of what the weather's going to do. Um, another really common tool, I know it pops up a ton, uh, mountain forecast, you can kind of drill in in here. Um, again, you can pretty easily search for most mountains uh, that you're kind of looking at in New Hampshire. Um, not as detailed as weather.gov. Um, I wouldn't say it's it's awful. Um, I feel like that day, in my experience, it's usually pretty, pretty accurate. But as you can see, it, it kind of doesn't give the weather in very specific gradients. Um, three hours is a long time, <laughs> um, plenty of time for weather to turn. So it's one thing I'm not particularly fond of for it, but again, another tool, um, kind of the idea is I tend to look at kind of all these different things to kind of decide what the weather's going to do. Um, of course you never know until you're up there in that day, especially in certain regions of the whites, like the Northern presidentials. If you're going to be around the presidentials, um, or Franconia Ridge or kind of somewhere above Treeline, you want to get a, an idea. Um, the higher summits forecast by the weather observatory in Mount Washington is, is really handy. I believe it's usually like 48 hours out. I think they do it twice a day. Um, gives you another really good idea of what's going to happen, especially um, as your hike's coming up. So maybe you're looking like a week out at weather.gov. And it's always exciting to be like two days out and be able to kind of see what's actually going to happen or a more accurate prediction of what's going to happen. Um, of course, I'll also use AccuWeather. And I was reading that AccuWeather is probably the most accurate um, weather sort of app and predictor as far as temperature. Um, I think Dark Sky is better at precipitation. Um, obviously, there's a bunch. But um, kind of we'll look at this to see like what's happening just sort of at the town. More, I guess you're talking valley level um, as opposed to on these summits. Um, so kind of another tool. Um, again, depends on what region you're in. Um, if you're in the northern presidentials, I found especially or somewhere like Franconia Ridge or Moose Lock um, that you know you're more exposed to weather. A lot of times the weather can change really rapidly. Everybody knows Mount Washington is notorious for that. 
Um, so kind of try to put these three together between weather.gov, mountain forecast, your sort of local forecast. If you're, if you're going a little bit higher up, obviously I'm not going to look at this to, to accurately predict temperatures for like Smarts Mountain say on Saturday because it's much higher and in a different region. Um, but very good for uh, kind of the presidentials in Franconia Ridge and probably the twins and kind of higher peaks like that since all that weather is kind of moving west to east generally across the region. As far as sort of just actual conditions, um, New England trail conditions is a really good resource. Um, it's kind of on people to post these. I try to post on here after I do hikes. Probably hasn't been as good at that lately as I have been in the past. Um, but you can kind of read about kind of conditions. Um, a lot of usually like a lot of info about sort of the trailhead, especially in the winter is kind of important. Um, if you kind of want to know what the road's looking like. Um, also, what kind of traction you might need um, and just general trail conditions, river crossings, etc. A lot of times in the spring, too, I'll be looking on these um, for to see how river crossings are. Then, of course, you have the Facebook pages. Um, there's a 52 with a view one. There's, I think, a couple of different 4,000 footer ones, but a lot of times I'll just shoot out questions here if I haven't seen trail conditions for a while and hope that maybe something can sort of give me a, give me kind of a clue as to what's been going on. Other two resources, not weather related, but invaluable, especially, um, it seems like so many people use all trails to find their hikes. Um, and it's great. I use it too. I download the maps fully on trail, um, have the subscription, but as far as planning hikes and kind of knowing where you're going, having maps, um, which you can find those everywhere between the AMC, um, I think not geo, a bunch of different people make those. But, um, as far as planning your trips, especially if you're, you're doing the 4,000 footers of the 52 with the view, these two books, i are absolutely invaluable. Um, they have specific winter sections about kind of parking and what to expect. Um, pretty in-depth sort of descriptions, um, history, geology, all directly related to sort of these, uh, these list mountains. So hopefully that was pretty helpful. Um, again, just trying to outline using kind of some sort of multiple sources, uh, kind of when you're getting your weather and sort of plan your hike, using some local conditions if you can get them. And then, of course, having some good guidebooks of what to expect. Um, all right. So I hope everybody enjoyed and some people find this useful. Thanks.